What's up, guys? Welcome to an emergency live stream sponsored by Bing X. You know, I've been working with them for like, I don't know, man, a long time. They're the exchange I've been working with the longest, probably like two and a half, three years. Um, but I help them a lot with like user interface updates, um, you know, adding altcoin pairings and trading features and things like that. So if you guys ever have suggestions of things that you would like improved on the exchange, let me know. And I can talk with the team and work on getting them in there. Uh, we just added like trailing stop. Um, what else? I mean, there's so much that's been added since I started working with them. It's awesome. Like, uh, if you haven't checked out the exchange, there's a link below. Uh, make sure you guys check it out if you are looking for it in exchange with low fees. Uh, that's why I use them for scalping because uh, there's good volatility on the exchange and the fees are dirt cheap, especially for low time frames, which is key uh, because there's been some exchanges I use where the fees are like ridiculous and getting in and out in a couple of minutes span. Um, sometimes the fees eat up most of your position. So make sure you check them out also for the newer traders that are just trying to figure out how leverage works or, you know, maybe just want to practice or whatever. They do have virtual currency on there. It's called VST. Excuse me. You can trade with that. Um, if your account doesn't come preloaded, just message the support team and they will get you loaded with that. Uh, I've heard a lot of people with good success on that. And not only just new traders, but if you're testing a strategy, you either should be using small amounts of money or uh, fake currency. And that would be a new strategy, right? Because new strategies aren't going to work very well the first time. It's almost a given that there's going to be kinks and things. So um, anyway, make sure you guys check that out. There is a link below to sign up. I appreciate you all, uh, for joining me today and let's get into this altcoin chart request live stream. Um, first off, I just wanted to take a look at KNC because this chart popped out at me, um, because I like clear ideas and a lot of altcoins are, have already broken down or are kind of in weird spots to where you're not really going to want a late entry. Um, so KNC here is a basically descending triangle, right? I mean, this is like a clean descending triangle. And so basically what happens here is this, this breaks down, all right, you get a nice measured target and you would look for it to catch a retest basically. So, you know, you're never really gonna wanna short at support, but if this breaks down, you would take your target from the top of the descending triangle to the bottom, move it here and bam. All right, your target would be 93 cents. So what that would look like is you could enter a short down here on a retest somewhere. Oh, I hate when TradingView does this. Um, let's get this. Well, yep, I'm going to use a 70% stop loss, you guys. And guess what? I'm going all in. I'm kidding, obviously. Um, you would never use a 70%. You could actually use a 70% stop loss on something if you're going very, 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 very small position size, right? Um, you know, like let's say you use $50 or something like that, right? Um, but again, everyone's accounts are different sizes and different uh, amounts, you know, and percentages. So that's going to be depending on your account size and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, so let's take a look here. Basically, um, you would look for something like this. So, you know, this would be the safest above the EMA. So 10% risk with 20% reward is still a great risk to reward. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but otherwise, you know, I always like tighter stops. So I'd probably go down to 4H and find something like around 5%. Okay. So that's what I'd be looking for here, um, and it's a great risk to reward. And you'd always have to be uh, aware that a uh, one dollar is going to be a good psychological support too. So that might even be your first target. Um, but descending breakout, descending triangle breakdown target, the technical target would be around ninety three cents for this one. Okay. So that's KNC. And the easiest thing to do, you guys, is not you don't have to sit here and watch the chart for hours. All you have to do is set an alert here, add alert. Bam, if it breaks down, you know about it. Um, so that brings me to my next chart, Adam. Okay, we had a 4H breakdown here, and I set alerts for it. Um, I caught a quick little scalp last night on the breakdown, but I did not uh, hold on to this short overnight um, just because, you know, I would have waited for a retest, and I don't trade in the evenings most time anyway. So, uh, But I did have alerts set, and I was waiting all day for this breakdown, so I had to, you know, get my quick scalp in. But basically, you can see here we have tested for support. We got a little retest here, and for entry on this one, you guys, we had a great one-day retest entry of the EMAs. So if I zoom in here, and these are the Gunner EMAs, okay, right here, boom, 
I like that little feature. Okay, so those are the Gunner EMAs, and you can see we retested them perfectly here. So this would have been a potentially, well, it was, a good uh, late short entry if you were waiting for daily confirmation. And basically what we have here is a bear flag type deal. So we basically have a bear flag here, all right? Or you could call it maybe a rising wedge, whatever you want, all right? Either way, that is a bearish continuation pattern. We have a high volume breakdown, and it looks like we're going to continue lower. So we've already retested this first support level, all right? And it's looking like we're rejecting at the top of it. Um, so most likely, you know, we're headed down to this next area, and this would probably be my main target. I don't usually hold the final targets. Um, sometimes I'll catch quick scalps along the way, uh, but basically, you know, a lot of times, it's pretty quick going to these first couple targets, and then here's where it kind of gets choppy, and sometimes it goes back up to, you know, a first target before it goes lower. So that's always uh, where I'll usually start just shaving profit, tightening my stop loss, et cetera, et cetera, once I get a move of that magnitude. Uh, but here are the important zones to watch for you guys. So make sure you keep an eye on these, and it's pretty straightforward. This one I made huge because, you know, sometimes you this is a support here, but it's kind of small, uh, but this is just a whole area where we kind of tried to build a bottom at so it's like you sweep the lows but how low do you go sometimes you sweep here sometimes you sweep here sometimes you sweep the very nut bottom and sometimes you go below and then come back up so <laughs> and you know sometimes you just literally nuke straight through okay so i like to draw my big support zone here and just know that that's an area to watch for a potential bounce um uh nice jordan said he nailed that daily retest well done my man that was just picture perfect. Um, so in my portfolio tracker, and if you guys haven't checked that out, I have a portfolio tracker. Um, it's basically just my team and I run it and we uh, take you know very low risk positions. If you wanna check that out, it's in my Twitter bio. It is the link in my Twitter bio, but basically um, it's it's 20 bucks a month, you guys. Like I wanna make it easily affordable to everyone, uh, but my team helps me run it. So I obviously um, needed to take something from that uh, to be able to pay out my team members. but. Anyway, um, what we did was we spotted Matic. So Matic is in an interesting spot right now. Uh, but basically, oh, there goes my son to daycare. Okay, Matic is in an interesting, if you guys can understand me, Matic is at a very interesting spot. So we got in before this 1H breakdown yesterday. All right, we kind of had to hurry because the whole market was tanking. But we had the support breakdown here. And this is where we got in and we saw immediate relief our immediate you know profit we're up like five percent in no time and then of course we rebounded and the reason we rebounded and didn't break out um hello guy all right hide user from this channel <sighs> people people you guys want to find love in your city then you can uh <laughs> i'm just kidding this guy in the comments Find love in your city. I can't believe I'm getting spam bots on my comments now. That's crazy. Um, anyway, okay, so the reason we're bouncing right now is because we didn't get a confirmed breakdown on the daily. So it's being resilient for the fact that it didn't break down, and it was literally by one cent. If Matic would have broke below this base here, okay, the base of this breakout candle, if it would have closed below that, it would have probably just gone straight down. But you can see here the open of this was uh, 56.30. You can see that on the top left here. If I move my cursor, it'll go away. But top left, you can see that the open here was 56.30. Um, so this closed at 56.30 on the dot. If it closed at 56.29, Matic would be red today, okay? Um, now, so we got to figure out, is Matic a laggard or is it an outlier? And to me personally, I believe that it's probably an outlier, or sorry, I believe that it's probably a laggard. It's probably going to drop. Now, does that mean that it can't do a fake breakout here? Okay. It could do one of these. And I, I can't remember the example of this, um, but I've got a few charts that look either exactly like this or they literally just reject here on this trend line. So I've got a few of those. I can't remember where they're at. Uh, but basically, I'm still in a short on this. We're probably underwater a couple percent right now. We've got an 18% stop loss on that position. But it's uh, it's like 1.3% risk on our account, okay? So it's low risk. We're in 100% stables otherwise. We did catch a nice FTM trade, uh, a nice FTM long on this bounce. 
uh, last week, and we've since been in stables uh, pretty much since like fr Thursday or Friday of last week, and we had one trade get stopped out at break even. So if you guys do want to check that out, it's in my bio again. It's twenty bucks a month. Um, we post our uh, our allocations for our uh, portfolio for our crypto portfolio. But anyway, so Matic, we don't have any confirmed breakdown yet. Um, but we haven't gotten stopped out. And basically, we have this major resistance here. So, and we're getting a lot of rejection. So, unless this can break out, this is the important resistance right now. Unless it can reclaim this, you know, this is what could happen. It'll start breaking down, okay? Um, and it kind of just looks like Matic, or Matic. It kind of looks like Adam did before Adam broke down, okay? I mean, it's like very similar. Now, that trend line is invalid, so I have to use this. Um, to keep this valid so if this breaks down that would be good confirmation for you know added shorts or late short entry um, but basically you can see here how that looks very similar oh shoot wrong button doesn't that look very similar though we've got our emas pinching tight here we've got our emas pinching tight here okay they're getting close and uh, so if we break down it's gonna look very similar to the atom breakdown so keep an eye on that you guys um uh, thank you guys. I appreciate your support. Appreciate all the nice words. Um, somebody asked about my Nintendo 64 setup. Um, yeah, you guys. So my, my, uh, basement flooded actually, and I had mold everywhere. So I had to tear out the drywall, uh, in my basement. So right now my drywall is being put back together in my office and, uh, you know, I got to get the drywall completely finished. Then I have to paint and then get the trim on. And then I'll have my office set back up, and we'll be back running at full speed. Uh, but for now, just in a random another part of my basement uh, until that drywall is fixed. So that's why there's a bunch of random crap out there and why it's such a mess. So I apologize for the ugly background. I do wish I had my cool Nintendo 64 stuff. Uh, it's actually just in a pile over here on the fireplace. So, yeah. So that's where that's at right now. Uh, but yeah, I do uh, enjoy my Nintendo 64 collection and it looks, you know, really cool in the background. So hopefully soon, hopefully within the next couple weeks, but um, I got some vacations coming up. So anyway, um, let's see. What else we got? Rune. Um, Rune, I'm pretty sure, is breaking down. Let's uh, see the Rune. Okay, so Rune looks like any other altcoin right now. They're all in these flag formations. Um, you can see here we haven't quite broke down from this yet. Okay, this is why it's holding so far. Um, so if Rune breaks this, you guys, it's probably going to sweep the lows. So that would kind of be your little setup here. And you'd you know look for a pullback to like 150-ish area maybe, somewhere in there. Uh, if we go to 4H, do we have an early breakdown? Maybe we'll see. So here is our 4-H trend line. And no, we have no early breakdown. So keep an eye on the 4-H, you guys. Um, obviously, this is a bearish structure, but there's no confirmed breakdown. We do have some high sell volume coming in on this and now a high volume rejection that it's working on. So possible that this just continues lower. Um, keep an eye on that. Your first target, you know, your first support would be right here. That's where you'd first look to uh, take profit or tighten up stop losses, and then your next area of support is down here. It's pretty clean. Um, you can see this consolidation. That's why that's a support. And then you can see this is where we had a nice bounce, which is why it would be another support. But uh, not much support in between. <coughs> so that would be probably a pretty straightforward trade if you took it, if it actually breaks down and you wait for confirmation. Let's see. Uh, Link, Hyrule Castle. Hyrule. I don't got Hyrule Castle in here. Sorry, you guys. We can check out Link, though. That's Zelda anyway. Oh, wait, no, that's <laughs> that's Zelda's castle. The princess, right? All right, let's see. Um, chain link tether is. All right. Damn, you guys, Link is just a choppy shit show. Um, I mean, this one doesn't look worth trading at all. This has just been a slow bleed. Let's see. Do we have a breakdown here? We do have a trend breakdown, so, you know, that's pretty bearish looking. Um, I mean, if you're looking for a short entry, I don't like when it's this this steady of a slope, right? Like, a lot of the other ones were, like, steep slopes, right? Like, Adam. Adam, we have a nice steep trend line, right? With Link, it's just not very steep, so it's not... 
it's just there's not as much room to go, I guess. And then a lot of times when it's like that, it'll be like do 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 ah do 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 ah do 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 ah, you know. And it's just like just a slow, boring ass bleed. That's not not to say this is going to be a slow, boring ass bleed. It could literally just nuke straight down here. Uh, but then you've got the lows to account for, and it could get a nice bounce off there. Or it just keeps absolutely tanking, right? Which is very possible here. And honestly, if we go to the... Let's go to the weekly chart and see how the weekly looks. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just like... Looks like bearish consolidation. But the next support is at $4 and something cents. So this is the next support level. That would be a major support area to consider like long-term buys. But with how the market looks right now, honestly, it's probably just... This could go deep. I mean... Everything looks like awful, you guys. Like this, we could be in for some real serious downside still. So, um, I'm holding off on long term buys until I have some real confirmation. You know, I'm not going to knife catch these long term buys because anybody doing that has been getting wrecked over and over and over recently, right? So, anyway, um, Soul, I meant Soul. So, that's Link, you guys. I mean, it's right at a retest right now. If you're looking for a position, um, that potentially could be a good entry. Um, Soul, I, I missed. The retest yesterday, or the breakdown yesterday, I had sent over my team um, for my portfolio tracker. We had actually sent over my team a breakdown, like up here at like 36, and we kind of forgot about it. And we were also technically waiting for daily confirmation. Um, so now we have daily confirmation. We're getting a bounce. So we could look for soul ads. I would love for it to bounce back up to 35 something. Don't know if we'll get that. Um, but I mean, this is a pretty clear breakdown here. We're hitting first support, next support, somewhere in here. So, you know, if you get into short somewhere here, here's how your risk to reward would look anyway. Um, Jesus, why do they do this? All right, let's get this down here. So, you know, it looks something like this. If we retest those Gunner EMAs, that'd be beautiful. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to. Um, and again, I usually go down to lower time frames to look for entry. But again, you get a two to one risk to reward here. That's still a great risk to reward. Um, if you know you feel like it's not going to get a bounce, you can do like a three to one risk to reward. Um, but anyway, let's go to the four hour chart real quick and see how things are looking. And honestly, I'm a little hesitant to take any positions today just because we have CPI tomorrow and the market could just do some funky shit. It could just straight nuke. Uh, I think that's what it did last time on CPI. But, you know, you just. It's so unpredictable. It could like pump like, you know, everything could pump higher than you expect and then just take off too. Or it could do a quick dump and then rebound and just chop around. So we do have this 4-H breakdown on Soul now. You could see here pretty clear. So anything up here would technically be short territory, right? Um, so this is all categorized as a retest because we have a breakdown and a high volume breakdown at that. I mean, look at the highest volume here on the chart locally is this breakdown right there so i mean that's pretty clean um maybe it depends on bitcoin a little bit i'm not quite sure yet uh i'm just not convinced that anything's gonna follow through big time today but everything just looks like shit so you, you know you're you're playing with fire longing these positions everything probably goes down lower unfortunately it could be a freaking slow bleed which would really suck if everything just slow bleeds and kind of chops around and whipsaws. That would be le the least ideal situation. Um, but so KNC, you guys, is probably one to keep an eye on uh, because it's a very clear setup. And usually when those break down, they happen pretty quickly after breakdown. Um, I was going to do uni, but now we've got uh, to put somebody in timeout because he's blowing up the chat. So uh, you guys, please don't spam the chat. You get put in timeout. Okay, time out for you and you. No spamming. Risk it all for our souls. <laughs> all right, somebody wants CHZ. Chilies. You could trade chilies on Bing X. There you go. Let's see. Is it not on Binance? It's got to be. Oh, there it is. Okay. I usually just use Binance because they've got the most volume. So here we could see actually CHZ is just breaking down now. And, you know, potentially a nice little retest here. Uh, let's see. The one day looks. One day with a huge. This looks like an evening star, you guys. It's kind of an evening star pattern here. <coughs> um, if this candle, if the one day candle closes anywhere near this area here. Uh, I like point two, like you guys can see. 
um, with my hand. If it closes down here or lower, that's a great short opportunity, um, technically speaking. Uh, so, I mean, this looks really good. I would be looking for some at least short scalps on this bad boy on some bumps but here you you know low time frames you got kind of little double bottom here so it's a little risky to get into a short right here at this moment um it's just choppy right now you know if you want to watch my video called never short a boring market you'll see why um so you know usually look for a little pop and then a death fall um, a little fomo pop to get people to sell or something but it is below that retest um so if you get that 4h retest up anywhere up here Okay, anywhere close to 10 and a half cents or whatever, uh, that could potentially be a very good short entry with a great risk to reward. Okay, so keep an eye on that level. Um, and you would just look for a drop here to next support levels, which would be here. Okay, here's the main support and then obviously the lows as well. <clears throat> okay, and I don't know why that's red, um, but anyway, there you go. So that's your, your, clear pic your clear picture here. Very nice clear breakdown. Not only that, look at all this volume up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at all this volume trapped now. A lot of people bought up here. And if we lose this area, you get all these people underwater. And that's a very clear scenario to go lower. So Chili's one of my favorite charts right now, actually, for a potential short. Uh, so that's definitely worth keeping an eye on. Um, Matic just holding up strong right now. But still at resistance. But Bitcoin's bouncing a little bit too. So let's see our stocks up a little bit. Um, they're about neutral. Not really moving much right now. Um, okay. Let me go back. All right. So what else we got? I got time for a couple more, you guys. Um, Matic will... <laughs> oh, man. I love those comments. Somebody said Matic will fuck my shorts. Well... I'm not going to get fucked because I have good risk management, but also that's usually what people say before shit nukes. So that's hilarious. Um, but, you know, you guys, if you're ever feeling cocky about a position, you're probably wrong. Not, like, I'm never, I'm almost never cocky about my positions. I'm like, I don't know if this is right or not. I'm going to get in it, and I've got good risk management, and I'm just going against probabilities. Like, the times that I'm like, oh, I got to go big here. This is the best opportunity, right? I'm like, oh, this is great. It's going to work. It's like... The market's just making it too obvious, and then they're trying to screw you over. So, uh, okay, somebody's been at, somebody wants quant. I don't even know what that is. Uh, quant. Uh, ch -ch 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 nice breakout here. Um, we've got a high volume rejection up top so far, and a retest. Most times in these conditions, that just becomes a retest. Um, you know, you get your breakdown, rejection, you get a retest, and then you go lower. Uh, where's our high volume at? Up here. So you don't have any technical confirmation for a short on the daily. 30-minute uh, chart, you could see this high, high, high volume rejection. That's not a good sign. Um, if daily loses this support here, then this is probably top. Okay. Definitely no indication to long here. Um, you'd really need a break above this trend line ish here um, to even consider. All right, you need a retest there and go. Uh, but overall, daily potentially showing a rejection here. And if we lose uh, 72, 60 area, then that would be basically confirmation of lower. So, um, all right, we got AVAX. I'm trying to get through these, you guys. I got time for a couple more. Okay, AVAX looks like a uh, Adam and whatever other chart we did that looked like this. Uh, <laughs> here you go, you guys. So this is a pretty straight up scenario, right? We technically don't have a breakdown yet on the trend line, but we technically have some breakdowns here. So you know, definitely would be looking for some shorts somewhere. Do we have a 4H breakdown? We don't yet either. Okay, so we don't have any confirmed technical technically confirmed breakdowns uh, but it's very close and it's showing similar structure as some of these other ones so always in my opinion it's always best to wait for that breakdown that confirmation that's going to give you your best bet over time over the long haul of actually catching um, these moves because before confirmation like you see with matic we don't have daily confirmation so that's why buyers are coming out stronger today because there is actually no daily time frame confirmation on that one yet so anyway um so quant Definitely keep an eye on those important levels. AVAX, here's an important level to keep an eye on. 
Um, hey, I appreciate that, you guys. Thanks for the tips. Um, that's that's really nice of you. Um, thanks for joining the stream. Anyway, I feel like we have a lot of people on here. Uh, let me see. Uh, 140 viewers. Nice, you guys. That's solid. That is solid. Um, let's go. Let's do a couple more. Um, Zill. Zill. Let's see Zill here. This one's very choppy and ugly. Um, no really clear picture here of anything. We did have this bear flag whatever breakdown. So this would have been where I would have shorted. Okay. Um, this would have been a clean opportunity, but otherwise we're just kind of in a chop zone now because we're at support, but we've got resistance above. Um, you can see here, you guys look at this nice trend line here. Okay. Nice trend line, rising wedge. We get a breakdown below Gunner EMAs and below our trend line. And that's like a really good opportunity. And basically you would have looked for a sweep of the lows here somewhere in here this would have been the target um so we're we're past this now there's really no setup i can see on this chart at the moment but this is how that trade would have looked i like to show this just for fun you know um so something like this two percent risk with um you know somewhere about a ten percent reward or you know eight percent eight and a half percent at the top of our uh support zone so that would have been a beautiful trade i would have taken this one all day every day um, man, that's nice. You guys, that looks really good. Um, uh, I did Bitcoin already on my Twitter. You guys just check it out. I mean, this it, only thing to watch on Bitcoin right now is if we can reclaim this breakdown, but it probably won't. Um, but we just have a breakdown here. We have a breakout, which becomes a fake breakout. And we broke down now. We've done that a million times. You can see here, we had a breakout and we broke down and you can see here, I'm not going to draw this trend line all the way over, but it, it does extend and we had a breakout and a fake out again. So we just have a series of fake breakouts and people call me bottom every time and we just keep nuking through. So um, XRP. All right. I'm feeling in a good mood today. We'll do XRP. I actually don't think I've ever done XRP in one of these. So, I mean, I personally am not touching XRP. Uh, damn, it's still at 31 cents. Just going sideways for eternity. Um, I mean, technically, this would be your only setup right now, which was a, you know, bear pennant or whatever. Um, and your target would be the the length of the pull, so you'd be looking for like twenty five cent area from that. Um, we do have a bearish engulfing candle yesterday, basically, but no volume. This chart just doesn't have much volume, you guys. Oh, that was a three day chart. I thought it was a one day um here's your trend line that you're gonna look for and you can see that it's breaking trend so but again i don't like these angles it's just such a low angle so it's kind of like I, I like stronger trends because you get stronger moves off of them um it's at support i mean there's there's just nothing for me to do on this chart it doesn't look good but it doesn't look ter. i mean it's just it's just sideways there's no volatility right now it's just literally going straight sideways so um yeah Let's see what else we got, you guys. I got time for one more. Um, whoever gives me a one BTC tip will get the next chart request. Obviously kidding. Um, let's see. Let me see through here if there's any we haven't done in a while. Um, let's do Ape. I see a few Ape coming in here. All right, we'll do Ape and we'll do CRV. Okay, you guys, we'll do those two, those two and then I'm going to get going for the day. Um, Ape. It's pretty much looking weak. I really wish I would have shorted this on the breakdown of trend because it broke down a couple days ago, I believe. So let's zoom in on this. Um, Rune is going to look like uh, BTC a little bit. It's going to have that fake breakout. Um, we'll do Rune, CRV, and uh, Ape quick, and then we'll call it good. Okay, you guys? So this was our breakdown here. And if you guys don't know why I draw my trend line so tight, you can go check on uh, my breakfast trades series. I do have a trend line video in there. Uh, but anyway, uh, you can see here we've got a breakdown right here, basically, and a retest. I could have gotten in on that. This would have been the better play. Um, we lost Gunnar EMA after the breakdown. And if I'm like, you know, let's just say I'm not drawing my trend line so tight, um, our breakdown could have been here. Um, but again, I like really tight trend lines so I can catch these breakdowns early. 
Uh, but this would have been the best. Right here, we get a breakdown. We retest the Gunner Emaze, and we just tank. Um, great setup here, and you're just going to be looking for lower. You know, your final target is technically going to be probably a sweep of the lows. Um, we've got some support levels here, and you can see why it bounced a little bit. So, you know, maybe you go to lower time frames and look for a little bounce here. Um, but otherwise, yeah, great setup there for a short. It's probably going back to 350-ish, and it could potentially go lower from there. Uh, okay, CRV. Um, so CRV, we have not lost Gunnar EMAs yet, uh, but we're close. Our high volume support is here. So basically, if we lose this support level and the Gunnar EMAs, we're going to see downtrend resume. Okay, so that's very important to watch. And you guys, look, this was some bearish divergence on uh, volume on this up move here, which is not a good sign, right? Volume dropping price was increasing so that was probably a good sign to start cutting and then we lost this up thrust candle as well so signs are not good here we haven't lost the uptrend just yet if you're taking this uptrend line okay so but soon maybe in a day or two we might start losing this level so it's definitely key to watch if that breaks down you're going to get a nice short entry as we've talked about on some of these other charts all right um well, oh rune was the last one i said i'd do um so rune Oh, I already have this mapped out. Wait, we did rune earlier, didn't we? Bam. If we didn't do rune earlier, I had this chart mapped out from another time, I guess. But anyway, here's rune, you guys. Um, here's going to be your trend line. It's sitting right at it right now. So if that breaks, blah, 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 you're going to continue lower. So there it is, you guys. Um, yeah, ACH is just shit, you guys. Um, I'm glad I did not buy this over the weekend. I was watching it over the weekend because my alerts went off. Um, but we had an evening star here the last couple days. Uh, that's an evening star. And now we've broken down. So that was probably a fake out before this shit just goes to zero. Uh, maybe not zero, but it's probably going way lower. So um, worth noting. Uh, but anyway, guys. Appreciate you all. Shout out to Bing X for uh, sponsoring the video. Again, if there's a link below, you can check out their exchange and you can paper trade on there as well. Um, I explained that all at the beginning of the video. Uh, but anyway, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. I've got tons more video content coming to YouTube soon. So, uh, you know, make sure you check out my educational videos. There is hours and hours and hours of them. And a lot of your questions are answered in there because I do a lot of basic fundamental videos, very in-depth explanations for you guys, um, because I want you all to be able to learn as best and easy as possible. So thanks again, you guys. I had a fun time chatting with you all on here. Um, we'll do another one next week, of course, and stay tuned for more content. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.